watch tonight. Greenfield High School is in the middle of what could turn out to be a controversial takeover bid. To explain, we go to Action News reporter Felix Cortez, who's live in our Salinas newsroom with the story tonight. Well, Aaron, the high school is in Greenfield, but it's run by a school district in King City. Today, a group of parents took their fight to the County Office of Education. Thank you. <laughs> And we have three copies of it, huh? <laughs> Thursday morning, Greenfield parents and educators turned in roughly 2,000 signatures to the Monterey County Office of Education, seeking to have Greenfield High School unified with the Greenfield School District. Students from the school, and they're really happy. I mean, and I'm, I'm glad that we, this is going to happen for them. This is their dream, is for Greenfield to have their school. Comments we would get, it's about time. You know, we're glad that finally um, we can be one. You know, it can be one district, one town. The high school is currently run by the South Monterey County School District, which operates out of King City. That district has been under state leadership for years because of financial problems. Talk of unification gained steam when Greenfield got a new superintendent just over a year ago. I don't think the issue is whether or not they're doing a good job or a bad job. I don't think that's never been something that none of the petitioners, none of the community members have ever brought up to me. They all just said we want local control. We want that high school as our community identity. We live here. It's our community. The state administrator for both King City and Greenfield High School said he won't stand in the way of a takeover as long as it's the right move for students. But he expressed in an editorial that in the long term it may be unaffordable for the Greenfield community, thus compromising service to students. Monterey County Superintendent of Schools Nancy Katowski said the public will have time to chime in. And a lot has to unfold during the process of the review and the public hearings and the interests and views of the communities and those that are affected by the petition. Now, the Monterey County Office of Education has 30 days to validate the signatures on that petition. If the petition is validated, public hearings must be held within 60 days. Any recommendation would then be forwarded to state educators for review. Aaron, Gay. Right. Thank you, Felix. If state educators support the unification, they could approve it or they could send it to voters for final approval.